So when the HRM9 launched, I had originally stated that I prefer the more aggressive style of builds with the weapon, and I still stand by that statement. I've been making a lot of no recoil or damage range style builds based on your guys' requests, but I wanted to take this build and jump back to the basics, what I originally enjoyed with the weapon. I did change up a couple of things, but it does a very good job for the aggressive players for being up close and personal with people, especially on some small size maps. Getting us started here with the folding stock, this is an attachment that does take away aim down sight speed, but it doesn't take away any mobility. This recoil control, gun kick control, and fire aiming stability are rather important simply because this weapon has a large kick and a lot of shake to it. So this attachment is going to give you 9% there to the gun kick, 14% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control, along with the much needed fire aiming stability. And the sacrifice to the aim down sight speed really isn't a big deal, only at 5%. For the rear grip, I am targeting recoil once again with the PCS90 assault grip for gun kick control fire aiming stability along with recoil control so another attachment that does take away aim down sight speed unfortunately but like i just stated with the stock it has quite a bit of a crazy kick to it so it's going to give you 10 percent there to the gun kick seven percent to the horizontal and vertical recoil control unfortunately these types of attachments are just necessarily simply due to the nature of the recoil with the weapon for a magazine i do like to use the 50 round drum just a preference style of attachment however if you want to go with the 30 round mag you can feel free to do so 50 is my preferred magazine choice for the underbell i have the dr6 hand stop this is going to speed up the weapon with mobility but also make up for some of the aim down sight speed loss we did have so i'll hide my camera so you can see all the mobility being gained here we have six percent there to the movement 11 percent to the crouch movement six percent to the ads movement speed eight percent to the ADS and then 8% to the sprint to fire speed. So when it comes down to the muzzle, I'm going to give you guys two different attachments you guys can use. You can use the Zem compensated flash hider here. If you want more of that recoil control, 5% to the horizontal, 15% to the vertical, while it does sacrifice aim down sight speed. However, if you don't really care about losing some damage range, the purifier muzzle break is also a good option. This weapon does like to kick to the side. So horizontal recoil control is 100% the primary recoil to be targeted. Targeting, but for those people that do struggle a bit more with recoil control, the Comp Zem Compensator is also a good option. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen if you guys wanted to copy this one down. Like I said, I'm going back to the roots with this one, so this looks very similar to my first build that I ever made. If you guys want an extreme movement build, just strictly focusing on movement, not really targeting any kind of recoil control, make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know, and I'd be more than happy to cover that for you guys. Here's also the rest of the loadout if you guys wanted to copy this one down as well make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me let's jump over into a gameplay where we're going to be ultra aggressive to feature the hrm9 hope you guys enjoy so i just played against a dev a call of duty dev i don't know when that video is going to drop but that's the first time i've ever run into one he works for demonware i'm not going to spoil that i was using the uzi i don't know like i said when i'm dropping that video but it was cool i've never never played against a dev they're obviously just normal people, you know what I mean? They just happen to work for a game studio. So. There's nothing different between them and us, you know what I mean? They're just gaming fans, simple as that. So it was a cool experience, I will say that much. It's just, they have the fancy clan tag and all that good stuff. So it's just an experience all around. Nothing to to you know brag about or anything devs most of the time aren't extremely good at their games because they're working on it all the time you know what i mean with them working on the game all the time you can't expect them to play it 24 7 like chances are they don't play it nearly as much as we do like i know for a fact they don't play it nearly as much as we do or at least me i don't know how much you guys play Ooh, the servers. Oh my God, there's a guy right here and I can't shoot him. This has been happening to me all day. Servers are just freaking out on me. It's whenever somebody leaves a lobby, it kind of jitters a lot. I don't understand. The long story short of things is we have got HRM 9. And we're going to do our best here to feature the HRM 9 while I talk some bullshit. Spawn flipped. Spawn flip twice. There's our swarm. They're all right here. Oh, 
I'm gonna go this way. I don't want to take that head on. Where are you shooting my stuff down from? That's not very nice of you. Not very bueno of you. Shoot my stuff down that I worked so hard for. DNA bomb. Brother, you just fried me. He must have seen me last second. It's the only thing I can imagine happened. I'm happy they fixed the swarm because I tell you what, it, the swarm just die bombing after it kills you was a rather annoying experience. Happy it works again. Check your fire. With all these kills, skill the score is still relatively close somehow. Say you just saved my life. Never thought that'd come out of my mouth. Don't fuck with my team. Switching mags. Yeah, I'm at sixty one. Throwing semtex. I don't hear anybody. See if I can get back here, because this is where they should still be spawning. Beetle. All right, where are they at? There's one guy back here, but I think he's AFK. Unless he's actually camped in this corner. No, he's not. If I want to, I can go with the advanced UAV. I think I'm going to. you have that kill teammate okay what are we at 73 teammates at 23 he's cruising too probably have more if i wasn't taking them all and again the score is still relatively close all things considered I have another DNA bomb, sure. Oh, well, that's not what I was trying to do. Let's give Nan.
90. We're, we should lock in 100 hypothetically here with this swarm. I don't know where the hell I just aimed at. I wasn't prepared for the fight. Me not being prepared totally just made me look like a little bit of a buffoon. There's a hundred. Hundred and eleven. This game's winding down here. They're all leaving the game. What can you do? I think that's gonna be it. If teammates stayed off the hill here, I could have had a whole nother swarms worth it kills 115 on the board.